So recently I have done a review of this thermal camera, which I purchased from Top Don. And this is a really nice piece of equipment. You have to power it on and I'll let it go warm itself up. It takes a minute for it to turn on and do all of the thermal camera things that you would expect it to do. And it takes a second for it to calibrate the image. You notice like I'm moving and it isn't quite there yet. It's got some features and some benefits that I personally picked this unit, which is the the 5. This series ends in the 5, so this is the TC005. The 004 only has one camera. This one has the ability to have two pictures overlaid on one another. So you can see the word DeWalt there, and if I put this up to a 100% of just thermal, you can't read that word anymore because that word does not have any difference in temperature. And you'll see what I am seeing is temperature is actually just reflection of heat on those surfaces. So these really handy and I'll show you, I'll push my hand down right here and I'll give it a couple seconds because I'm doing one handed here. And you'll see there's my hand and that's just because that hand left an imprint on this surface. So if you're doing work, especially in the electrical or solar space, and you wanna have an accurate tool for measuring the output of infrared, so a thermal camera, this one is a really handy tool. And I picked it because it is a very nice standalone tool. However, this amazing company reached out to me, Thermal Master, and they sent me this product. This is specifically for the Android platform. So sorry for all those iPhone lovers out there. This is not for you. I do believe they have a product for you. I'll put some links for this product in the description below. This is noted as the world's second smallest thermal camera. They actually make the world's first smallest as well. This is just the second one in that series. So it comes in some really nice packaging and you'll see why this thing is so powerful uh, in just a second here. The box is one of those slide out the bottom style. It'll drop out in a second here. Uh, one handed is always fun to do. Pop open the box, really nice quality box here. And here's a little bit about the specs on this. This is what you can expect for the uh, refresh rate, the zoom, the accuracy, and so on, and the complete depth of ability to reach or the range of temperature that it can read. This here is just the booklet, and it's nicely folded up here. This part, I actually really appreciate that they gave you this. This is a USB-C to USB-C extension cord. So that's actually handy because if you wanted to have the camera not attached directly to the bottom of the phone, or if you wanted to run it from a laptop or like a Raspberry Pi, you could do that as well. So that's actually a really handy add-on. Now, what you'll get inside this box is a little hook or a little carabiner clip here. And this is pretty nice standard carabiner that you would expect a carabiner to be. But this tiny little case, which is the best part about this, is this has to be in this case to keep it safe. The camera lens on thermal cameras are exceptionally sensitive, so you do not want to leave this somewhere where you could hurt it. So that has to live in this case, and as you can see, that's fairly bulky. This to be carried along with you means that you probably won't have it ready by at any given time. Whereas if you pick up a tool like this, which you can just attach to the bottom of your phone, it makes doing that exceptionally easy. This is so tiny that here I have a, uh, this is my old phone, which I'm using for the demonstration of this. That's a Pixel 4, and it's not much thicker. The case for this is not much thicker than the phone itself, and it has a nice hard clamshell style case with a single button on the front that releases it, and I can pop open this little case. Now this is the Thermal Master camera here, and you'll see that it comes with this nice felt filled case to keep everything nice and scratch free. And the unit itself is tiny. Look how small this little tiny thermal camera is. Now we're gonna do the exact same demonstration again, where I'll flip this camera over and I'll just slide it into the USB-C port. You do have to download their software and on Android it is, oh, squeeze, yeah, 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 skip that. I didn't want that, I squeezed the phone and it thinks I'm doing a, an action step and I'm not. So I open up this here and it's asking me to connect the camera, which I might not have pushed it in all the way. There we go, I think I did. And what this will do is, allow, this will allow me to use the camera attached 
through the USB-C, and it's giving me a little bit of problem because the case, so hold on one second. In most cases, I wouldn't be using this case. This is just an old phone that had a really rugged uh, Spigen case on it. So you can see the camera is attached now, and I'll just tap on the camera mode here. Some big differences, that camera here, the top Don, can record video and take still images on an SD card, but then you have to get those off of the SD card, and it's actually a little bit more annoying than you'd think, because you'd have to plug something into the USB of the phone anyway. So I'm gonna do another test, take the other hand, push it here, put a little heat transfer onto that surface, and then what I'll do is I'll lift this up. Now I have it set into the grayscale mode, and you can see that handprint right there. It's, it's very clearly able to pick that up. And what you can do with this as well is you can pick the color mode that you see things in. And that mode is actually showing it to you as a live version of it translating that color onto the image of capture in the way that it describes the heat between those colors. So there's some options there, but the really neat feature I appreciate the most about this is not only is it small, but when you record video, the phone's audio also records. So that is super handy because if I'm making notes like, hey, look at this breaker, it seems to be hot, and I'm using this and I'm doing some field service work as an electrician or some kind of solar work, and I wanna make notes of what's happening, I can just talk and the phone's audio will pick up the audio and record that along with the video from this thermal camera. So it couples the microphone from the actual phone along with this as the primary camera. It does have a couple of other options where you can mirror, you can change brightness, contrast, scale. There are a host of dynamic options you can use to make this look and feel the way you want it to. The other feature that I think is really cool is the zoom feature on this is exceptionally good. Um, I can't do it with one hand because it's a pinch to zoom, uh, but you'll be able to see how well you can zoom in. Now again, I think personally for me, the tool that is the best tool is the one that you have. Now, that can mean a lot of different things. So if you have a random hammer and that hammer is good at pounding nails in, then that's your best hammer. But for me, it's also about accessibility. So for me, I never use a standard utility knife because this is my everyday carry utility knife. And these exchange blade knives are super, super handy and I prefer this specific one because of the way the blade releases, but this is in my pocket at all times, which means this is the knife that is my solution. And because this is so big, I'm unlikely to carry it with me when I want to take a picture of something that I want the thermal image of. But this here can fit in my pocket. This is smaller than my headphone case, which I also keep in my pocket. So if this is in my pocket, I will always use this tool before that tool. Both of them have a rough pixel output of about the same density. They roughly do the same thing, but from ease of use and convenience and also protection, this tool is probably the best that I've seen on the market and it's just super portable. I'll put some uh, links. I think they're doing a Christmas special. So if you're buying this before Christmas, there's a link um, and a promo code that you can use. And I think it's uh, like $160 or something near there on Amazon. But definitely check this out. If you're doing any electrical work or solar work, having a thermal camera is super, super effective tool. And right now they're relatively cheap and they've gotten to the point where their size is just awesome. So let me know what you think in the, uh, the comments below. And uh, until next time, cheers.